All right, guys, this is the Dancing Wing Stick from BitGo Hobbies. This is a plug-and-play balsa arf. We decked it out with some of our little decals and doodads to dress it up, but 1,400 millimeters, which is like 55 inches in this thing, we're using Jetty Control. It has on 4S a 60 amp ESC, 900 kV motor, and a 12 by 6 prop. And again, stunning colors on this plane. All right, guys, it's Brendan here, just playing crazy. It is maiden day of this uh, BitGo Hobby dancing wing stick. We're over here at the Mifflin Town Airport. It's a super five, 10 degrees, I don't know. It is just playing crazy cold. Let's get to doing the maiden. All right, guys, the maiden of the dancing wing stick from BitGo Hobby's factory uh, settings here for low, high rates, NCG, taking off right to left. And we also have flapperons uh, mixed in here so we can play around with that in a little bit after we get her trimmed out. Away we go. <laughs> So I used a little bit of the length of the runway. We need some up elevator here. Couple trim with aileron. Not much power though, very light plane. The weights, uh, the components in the plane are down in the description below. This is only flying on a 2200 4S, and the pack that's in here is a 35C, uh, 35C pack. I almost said 35CC pack. Straight aileron roll. Four minutes. That's on low rates, so that gives you an idea. High rates. Go to high rates. So high rates has a little more authority, not an absolute ton. It has great power though. That's on a straight vertical climb. A little bit of a flat spin there. Take it up to a stall. Outside loops are with ease. That's that's a little bit over quarter. It's not even half. All right, let's go ahead and turn on our uh, flapperons. Flapperons. Definitely a lot more roll rate there. Now they tout this as a 3D plane. So one of the things that makes it a 3D plane to me is if you can hover it and pull out. Yeah. It's not obnoxious power, but it's good. So this is with flapperons. Now let's see if we can flat spin this. We're way up there at this point to give it time. No, nope, too much. Into a pop top. Uh, not so much. I think we're gonna have to work on some of those uh, mixes to get those just right. You can easily throw this plane around though. It's very agile, for sure. I think some fine tuning on those mixes for sure. And I would recommend whatever throw you could possibly get out of this plane, 
while you're building it to do it. One minute. Let's see if we can get some. Bring it by here and give you a full speed run. Has a lot of couple to the nose. Seconds. Has a lot of couple to the nose and knife edge. We'll bring it by the other way and see if it has the same. Yeah, it couples a lot. So you would have to mix that out. But as far as a good everyday flying plane, I mean, the stick is, is hard to beat. Now that's Seven, inverted with a decent six, amount of elevator five, pressure. Alright, so let's do some flap setups here. Take off flaps. So that needed some down mix. Landing flaps. All right, so let's see how slow we can get this by with full flaps. My mix is set up right now because I use those flight modes. So it slows down really well. It doesn't have any bad snap or stall flaps. tendencies. Flaps up. Flapper on. I really wish, I love doing pop tops. I really wish that I could get this thing to do a nice one. It almost like that rudder authority Love holds it. it out. Let's try it in normal mode, non flapper on and see. No. I can't get that snap up there at the top. So I think if you work out some of the uh, the throws, mixes, CG, maybe play around with that a little bit more. But nice flying aerobatic plane. Um, as far as grade 3D, I think you're going to need to to do a little bit of work. But definitely something you can move into that's a, a mid-level aerobatic plane for sure. Nice, easy, slow lander. And there you have it, guys. That is the Maiden of the Dancing Wing Stick from BitGo Hobby. Flaps up. All right, guys. So now check that out if you want to see. We have 30% left on this thing. And this is what we ran in it, uh, just the 35C2200 pack, more than enough to fly this plane and keep it agile. But we were at six minutes to get there, so I think that is a perfect flight time um, for this model. And the more that you play around with it and fine tune it, and the more you throw it around, the better it's going to get. All right, guys, and there you have it. That was the Dancing Wing stick from BitGo Hobby. If you're interested in anything in the Dancing Wings line, the XFly line, or HSD, head on over to www.bitgohobby.com. Link in the description below and check out. They have quite a few. I've done the um, Balsa PT-17. That was an amazing aircraft, and this one just follows it up. So with that being said, it's Brendan here, just playing crazy. We're out here at the Mifflin Town Airport. It is five degrees out here. We are just playing crazy making videos. I hope you guys enjoy them. If you do smash that thumbs up button helps out the channel a lot if you're going to do this thing do me a favor do it twice like share subscribe all that cool shameless plug stuff head on over to our official facebook and instagram pages and hit those up as well with that being said i wish you guys happy flights peace out